Divine Masculine. What's up, guys? We're about to tap in and check in and see how you guys are doing today. All right. Um, hope everyone is doing great. Hope all of you guys have had a great 4th of July. All right. But now we need to just kind of figure out, like, how are you guys doing? What's going on? You know? Let's tap into you guys' energy. So we're going to just ask Spirit, what's up? All right. Ask me if there's anything that the Divine Masculine needs to know about or needs to be aware about. Okay. All right, Spirit. So is there anything that the Divine Masculine needs to know or be aware about in the next coming days? I don't know if you guys heard that airplane flyover, but that was an omen. All right. There is definitely something that you need to be aware of okay and it's something that's getting it's something that's leaving something that's leaving oh, okay the queen of wands i have the queen of wands all right so this is the queen of wands okay is typically a uh karmic energy it's a third party um energy it's a, a extra person who usually interferes in another's relationship okay this person um, is leaving, okay? Like that airplane. I don't know if you heard it, but it came and it flew over. So it's like it's gone. So I don't know if the divine masculine have just gotten rid of a third party, um, you know, or they just recently cut off a third party. Um, you let that person go, okay? They're no longer in your energy. Um, I feel like with the moon at the bottom of my deck, I feel like you might have caught this person lying or being deceptive. Um, they're not being honest. They were hiding something from you, um, you know, and that was just basically room enough for you to be like, you know what? You got to go. All right. Okay, Spirit, tell us some more about what Divine Masculine needs to know in the next coming days. Ten of Cups. Okay, guys. So, I have the Ten of Cups. Okay, this is wish fulfillment. This is emotional fulfillment. Like, complete happiness. Like, the home, the kids, the dog, the wife. Like, all of that. Okay. I feel like a lot of Divine Masculines are now craving, like, their Divine Feminine. Okay. They're wanting to come back home to their Ten of Cups. Okay. Um, now that they've... Now that this third party is gone, this lying, deceptive third party is gone, I feel like now Divine Masculine is wanting to come in towards his Divine Feminine, pretty much like heal things with her and like live a happy life. Okay, he sees Divine Feminine as his wish fulfillment, okay, as an emotional fulfillment, as like his complete happiness, all right? Okay, Spirit, tell us some more um, about this Ten of Cups, okay? Yeah, the Empress card, okay? Guys, this is Divine Feminine, okay? This is the Empress. She's the Queen, all right? She is in her power. She is, really, she is above all of the Queens and Princesses, okay? She's like that chick, and she's in her power, okay? She's radiating. She's beautiful, she handles her own, okay? She's financially stable. She's smart. Probably has a really good job. Um, doesn't need anybody for anything. And Divine Masculine is seeing his empress on her throne like, uh, I need to go back home. <laughs> My queen's waiting for me. I got to go. He said, I got to go. Yeah, he said, I got to go. Yeah, three of pentacles popping out. He's wanting to work with her. He's wanting to come in and be a team player with her. You guys are wanting to come home? All right. For the divine masculines who did their spiritual work. Yes, and had actually got rid of the third party. 
Wow, that's amazing. Let's get um, three more cards. Okay, Spirit, tell us some more. So Divine Masculine, he's got his head on his shoulders. High Priestess here, okay. Um, I feel like right now, Divine Masculine, you're not speaking to your Divine Feminine. This High Priestess is like, like a shh, like a quiet, like a, like a calm, like there's no communication, okay? It's like you want to come in and work with your divine feminine. Like you want to come in and heal things and, and reconcile with her with the three of cups at the bottom of the deck. But it's like because you guys are not speaking right now, um, it's like you don't know how to come towards her. Like it's like the unknown, you know, like I don't know how like I want to come and, you know, reconcile with her. And get back on her good graces but like we're not talking so like and two like with this high priestess um, divine masculine I don't know if you had like a secret or something that you were hiding from your divine feminine you weren't telling her about this uh, Queen of Wands because the moon card is also a secret or something being hidden there's something that you weren't telling your divine feminine about this third party that um, is kind of, it's kind of like got you in your head about like how to come back, how to come back towards her, okay? Because you're not sure if she knows about this third party situation or, and then you're not sure like if she is seeing somebody else, you know, things like that. So, hmm. All right, Spirit, give us one more card for Divine Masculine. What else should Divine Masculine know? about Divine Feminine. Is there anything important that the Divine Masculine should know about Divine Feminine? Two cards came out. All right, so I have the Five of Wands and the Eight of Cups. So Divine Masculine, what you guys need to know is your Divine Feminine with the Eight of Cups, she's walked away, she's gone. And the Five of Wands, she's walking away from any competition, any fighting any arguing any drama with the five of wands too this could have been a lot of people who were against your divine feminine and she left all right she's gone she walked away from all that so she's not gonna deal with that and I say that because I have the page of swords at the bottom of my deck okay she's cutting out all the drama all the bs all the craziness all the toxicity she's not with it all right she's an empress okay She's above everyone, okay? She's every woman, all right? She's every woman. She's ev she's everything you can ever wish for, dream for, hope for, pray for, desire, all that. She's everything in one, all right? So she's not going to put up with any petty drama. She's going to go. She's going to leave, all right? I feel like Divine Feminine, like your Divine Feminine's Divine Masculine. Like, I feel like she's tired. I feel like she's been through a lot, and I feel like she's really just wanting to just find that one person where she doesn't have to worry about you know is he doing something you know behind my back okay like I said okay with the with the three of wands and the ten of swords she is letting go of anyone that's going to betray her or stab her in the back okay with this um ten of swords okay um Divine Feminine really is just not, she's not going to put up with any, any drama, any craziness, all right, any fighting, any, she's not going to be, she's not going to compete, okay, so if you have her in the third party, or if you're treating her like an option, she's not going to do that, all right, she's going to turn her back with this three of wands, and she's going to end it, she's going to go, she's, she's done, it's not even worth her time or her energy or her effort, she's again, like I said, she's the empress, okay, She's above all other queens, all other princesses, you know. She is like it, so she's not going to put up with that. She'll just leave and go somewhere else. Um, I have the two of swords at the bottom of my deck. So I feel like, you know, Divine Masculine, you could be kind of in your head, like not sure what to do, okay, because you see Divine Feminine has walked away. She's not dealing with anything. You know, she's not going to deal with any drama, any competition. She's not going to be a third party. Um, she's in her power, okay? She's the empress. She's in her power. 
and she's turned her back. She's ended things. That's why, you know, probably you guys are not speaking right now because she left and now you're in your head. You're not sure. You're like, with the two of swords, it's like, you're not sure like how she feels. Okay. What is going on in her head? Why did she leave? Like, why did she walk away? But Divine Masculine, I know that you know within your heart of hearts why Divine Feminine left, okay? We tap into our intuition with the Four of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Ace of Swords, and the Seven of Wands, and the Chariot, okay? King of Wands, Divine Masculine, that's you. Four of Swords. You know why Divine Feminine ended things with you, okay? You know why you guys are on a break, why you guys are separated right now, okay? You know, with the Seven of Wands and this Ace of Swords, she's cutting through all the mess, through all the bullshit, okay? She's not, she's going to fight for what's right, okay? She's going to fight for what's right. And she's, she's not going to put up with any mess, all right? If that's going to happen, she's going to make the decision with the Two of Pentacles, to leave, to move forward, all right, to leave all of that toxicity behind, like I said, okay? Because Divine Feminine is letting go of anything that's going to make her feel Five of Cups disappointed, okay? Or sad or heartbroken, okay? Divine Feminine is on her, her twin flame journey, the fool's journey, and she's leaving, like I said. She'll just go with no no reason why or anything. She won't, she won't even have to explain why because you already know, okay? She's going to go. So Divine Masculine, you need to know that Divine Feminine, the overall message for this reading is Divine Feminine is tired of being hurt. Basically, that's what I'm getting here. Let's get a kipper on here. Spirit, give me a kipper for Divine Masculine. He's wanting to know about his feminine. He's wanting to come and reconcile with his feminine, but he's not sure how she's feeling or if she even wants him to because they're not on speaking terms right now. But she's in her power. She's in her empress power. And uh, she's not, you know, she's walking away from any any drama, any fighting, any competition. Um, Divine Feminine is not wanting. She's letting go of anything that's going to make her feel disappointed or sad. All right. So I have the main male and the lovers. So Divine Masculine, this is you, the main male and the lovers. Divine Masculine, you're missing your Divine Feminine. You're wanting to be back in her good graces. You're wanting her back. You're wanting to come home back to your Ten of Cups. But again, like I said, you're just not sure, like, how am I going to do this? Like, she, you don't even know how she feels. I get a lot of, I don't know. Like, I want to, but I don't want to be rejected. But then, like, but I know, like, I know, like, with the courthouse, like, I know, like, I hurt her. Like, I know I could have made better decisions and better choices. Like, I know I probably could have stood up for her more. Like, I know I probably could have did this or did that. Like, I feel like Divine Masculine, you're in the, um, I wish I would have, should have, could have did energy. Um, because maybe if you would have done any of those things, maybe the situation, like, the outcome for right now would be different, would be a little bit easier for you. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, but with the thoughts and the thief and the message of concern, okay, you're in your head, like, you're in your head about this, okay? You're really concerned because you feel like, she feels like you're, like, going to take something from her or... You feel like she's really guarded, like she's trying to protect herself from you, like her heart. Because it's like almost like she doesn't want to give it away. Like because last time, before, like when you guys were previously talking, you know, she probably gave her whole heart and then something happened. The third party interfered, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, she feels like her heart, you know, her feelings may, might have gotten, like her heart got played with, Okay. So she's pretty much protecting her feelings from getting or her heart from getting stolen out of her chest, like ripped out of her chest again. Okay. Let's get a psychic tarot on this for you, Divine Masculine. All right, Spirit, clarify this reading. So Divine Masculine is wanting his Divine Feminine, but he's not sure how to come back to her. 
They're not talking. He's worried because he feels like maybe she's like protecting herself or guarding her heart or her feelings. Like she won't let her guard down. She's very protective. She's probably blocked me. She's blocked me. One, too many cards. No. So. I have the throat chakra. We'll take that. Throat chakra. Okay. So again, you guys are not speaking. Spiritual union. Okay. You are wanting to speak to your divine feminine, but you're not sure how, what to say. You know, you're not sure. Like, I feel like too, some of your divine feminines could have blocked you guys on social media, phone, text, call, whatever. Okay. Um, really, she's got her guard up. Um, but because she's blocked you guys and she's not speaking to you, it's really causing you a lot of... Um, mental conflict all right you're in your head you're confused you don't know like i don't know like i, I can't get this i don't know what she wants to do like i don't even know if she wants me anymore like with the patience card here like i want to come in and make it right like i'm willing to do whatever it takes like i know it's probably going to take her a long time to let her guard down to like let me in like i know with awareness it's not going to be easy. I know it's going to be a lot of work, a lot of toil and labor for me to get my feminine back. But I feel like some of the divine masculines are willing to do whatever it takes to get back with their divine feminine. But because you guys are not on speaking terms with the universe and trapped in fear. Yeah. You guys are in your head like worried about how things ended like you feel like this is it like it's over like she's never gonna take me back just sitting there like just sitting there in your room or on the on the couch or in your car just sitting there just thinking about how things ended and like how she's gone and like i don't think i can ever get her back like y'all just freaking out freaking out okay and i have um fertility and hope I feel like, though, too, you guys are hoping and praying, you know, that things can work out, okay? Like, things can move forward, that the relationship can get back on good standing, on good terms, that the relationship can grow, okay? That the relationship can be rekindled, can be healed, different things like that, okay? Um, let's get one of these for Divine Masculine just to end the reading. All right, Spirit, give, is there anything that you need um, Divine Masculine to know here? get grounded all right so i have empath highly sensitive and connect with nature okay divine masculine spirit is wanting you to tap in to your intuition i don't know if you guys can see that okay tap in to your intuition all right um open up your mind all right and be more receptive to spirit i feel like spirit's trying to give you the answers on how to fix this with divine mass with divine feminine i'm sorry but um it requires you to get grounded to go within to use your intuition to really dive into your mind and your heart and put yourself in divine feminine's shoes and pretty much think like if i was her what would i like for my person to do like you know Things like that. Like, pretty much just put yourself in her shoes. Let's get another one. Give me one more. Yeah. Star mother. How can you mother yourself? Okay. So, with this card, um, basically, you're needing to go within, okay? You're needing to... Because once you go within, like I said, spirit has all the answers. They're wanting to guide you back to your divine feminine. But they're not going to if you're not doing the work. You're not going within, you're not learning your lesson, and you're always putting her in third party. Spirit's going to keep you guys apart, okay? But you need to go within, and with the star mother, this is, how can you mother yourself, okay? You need to heal yourself. You need to work on yourself. Do the spiritual work. Get grounded. Learn who you are. Learn about the twin flame journey. Learn about divine masculine and divine feminine, okay? Watch other tarot readers. Learn about... The karmics and, and what a karmic is and, and, and why it's there, okay? 
and then learn about how to heal this, okay? Because you and your divine feminine are supposed to be together, okay? That is a faded, a divine connection, all right? But spirit had to interfere and separate you guys because there was a third party in the mix that was not supposed to be there, all right? And if one soulmate is like willingly knowingly like keeping somebody else in the picture when they know that they're not supposed to and they're not doing anything to get rid of that person spirit's going to come in and, and fix it for you so spirit's wanting you to go within connect with your higher self all right connect with your intuition heal yourself learn about the journey so that you can come back and heal divine feminine the only way that you're going to be able to come back to your divine feminine and heal divine feminine and go back on this journey that you're being called to go back onto is if you go within and if you transform okay if you do the spiritual transformation go through the awakening ascending process okay awaken go learn new things okay learn a new way of being all right that's how you have to meet your divine feminine there, okay? She's already on her journey. She's been on her journey this whole time. She's been waiting for you to catch up. And now that you're starting to kind of tap in a little bit, you know, you're at the beginning of the line and she's almost to the finish line. And I mean, if you're not, you know, willing to go within and do you use your intuition and connect with spirit and source and learn about the journey and what all comes with it, then spirit's not going to initiate you and allow you to cross and allow you to come back towards your divine feminine, okay? She is your soul family. Divine feminine is your soul family. This is your person, okay? She is a part of your soul tribe. But if you're not willing to do the work, you have to go through this dark night of the soul, okay? Like divine masculine, this purple here, your divine feminine, she's in there. She's she's already over there. She's over there sitting by the water. She's got her feet in the water waiting for you to come. And you're back here walking through all the gravel and rocks and the dark, you know, with the storm and the debris and tripping over things you can't see. You don't know what's right, what's wrong. You don't know what's going on because you're not using your intuition. Spirit's trying to guide you through the darkness, but you're refusing to look, well, to use the light, you know. You're refusing to see what they're trying to, to show you. So... In order for you to be able to safely and properly get through this dark night of the soul and cross over and be initiated pretty much to win your divine feminine back, you have to do the work. Open up. Let spirit in. Once you do that, no problem. Spirit said, here you go. No problem. Let's see. Once you do that, spirit, once divine masculine does the work and goes within, what's his reward? Once Divine Masculine goes within and does the work. Yep. Yep. You get your privileged lady, your Divine Feminine. You'll finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. Like I said, the light. Divine Feminine's already in the light. She's there. You're on this path, this pathway. You're walking through the dark night of the soul. You are wanting to come to your divine feminine, but you're in the dark. You need to open up. Okay. Go within. Connect with spirit. Learn about the journey. Learn about everything. Okay. Do the work. Heal yourself so that you can heal her. You cannot heal her if you're not healed. If you're still hurting or holding on to some past hurts or relationships or whatever, you're, you that's not going to work. Okay. So once you do the work, you will see... The light at the end of the tunnel and that light at the end of the tunnel is your divine feminine the privileged lady yes the empress the queen yes and on top of that spirit said i'm just gonna throw in a little bit something extra for you great fortune all right you get your lady and you get money sounds like a deal to me all right divine masculines get to work start learning start healing and go get your feminines all right guys oh yeah don't forget to like share and subscribe okay Talk to you guys later. Bye.